Hi, this is Paul from Wave5Trade.com and this is my Daily Stock Signals video for Friday the 19th of October. Now, right at the beginning of the week, on Sunday I made the video, the video went out on Monday morning, uh, I discussed two stocks, uh, SGEN and MVCR, and we're going to look at those again today because I highlighted those as potentials, and this is how we start to build the watch list. So let's see how, see how those perform this week, and then we're going to look for entries. So the first one, SGEN, remember, on the Friday we had this uh, gap down and then Monday we got what we needed okay we got the gap up and then we started to move so we got this lone star pattern here um, and this is where we've ended up uh, quite slow rate um, price action really uh, it just has been going very well and yesterday with the negative markets we did reject those lows so looking pretty good there uh, so now we've got to consider do we really want to enter this absolutely at this point in time we've got a good move we had a negative day yesterday and it rejected the low so we've got a we've got a high for this week if we get through that today 7608 is my entry so it's above these highs it's way outside of my the 64 moving average high for today's bar position also above the whole 60 uh, 76 dollar mark stop loss would be below the wave four pivot there around about 68.95 something like that and that that risk reward is a you know to the 90 dollar top end of the target there on automated target zones um, we have around about one to two so very very good so just a reminder this is our Elliott wave indicator suite for the thinkorswim platform but it was also available for ninja trader think um, trade station and multi charts uh, and this is just a, a recap video on two stocks that I looked at right at the beginning of the week so those ad, you know went on to the watch list right at the beginning of the week from our stock scanner membership and we've just been tracking those this week we've had a really nice move away from that wave four we had a negative day in the markets yesterday on SGEN and just a reminder this rejected those lows yesterday we've got an entry strategy now and this is it 7608 entry uh, target around about $90 and then the stop loss are just below $69 so about $68.97 something like that stochastics crossed over we did go slightly out of the 140 on on the uh, 535 but that that 535 is crowned uh, and is looking pretty good the uh, MTF dot cloud you can see the pullback as we go from all green to, to cyan to red and then we're coming back up again now as you can see we're going more green uh, and we'll see that move and um, for me because I've got this indicator suite I it, I will press the trigger when I get the green square when we're all green again and that should be in theory when we come through this 6-4 moving average high so the second start was MVCR again with that um, doji that morning star pattern at the bottom there this time this, the 535 stayed within 90 to 140 the stochastics crossed over my MTF dot cloud is coming back up lovely we've moved away from that wave for low we did get a high yesterday which was rejected with the negative markets and it closed near the low so it may not trigger today but this gives us an entry strategy above the high of yesterday that's, that, that was rejected so a 48.41 entry above the 6.4 moving average high for today's bar position as I said it may not trigger today uh, we may just get consolidation after yesterday but this order would be good as long as it doesn't break the stop loss for the uh, order here which is around about 42.23 something like that just below this wave for low and then the targets around about $58 so 1 to 1 1.6 just on the edge of our um, minimum risk reward but still good so it just goes to show you our stock scanner membership brings out these potential opportunities and you need to put them on your watch list and track them during the days uh, you know each day and during the week and look for those entry strategies and I will I do do examples every single day and what I wanted to do today was go back right back to the beginning of the week look at those two stocks and then uh, show you my decisions what I'm going to do and um, because I've left them on the, on the watch list I've now got two potential entries for today or Monday depending on how the markets go okay so that's it for today have a great trading day a great weekend I'll speak to you all on Monday